In this video, let's see another numerical problem which was asked in a board examination in the year 1995, set C. The problem is, find dy by dx for sin y is equal to x sin a plus y. So you are asked to find out dy by dx. Now as you can see, one thing can be done that differentiating both sides with respect to x. But here is a bracket, maybe we will face some problem, some of you might. Sign differentiation is cause, then you have to follow a plus y also. So one way is that, no issues with it, those who are comfortable with can go it like that. But the other way is what? We can mold the question according to our interest. Let's keep the y's together and let's keep the x's together. So it is x is equal to sine y upon sine a plus y. This is my question now. So here what has happened is, here x has become separate, y has become separate. Now, finding of the what? dy by dx. Finding of dy by dx would be tricky from this manipulation that we did. But one thing can be done again. What if I ask you to find out dx by dy? Easily you can find out dx by dy. Why? Because x is there. So dx by dy can be done. Now dy by dx was needed. So what you can do is step 1. You find out your dx by dy. And then the step 2 would be what? You have to find out dy by dx. So you basically reverse what you found out in the step 1. So it is 1 upon dx by dy, that is the reciprocal, not the reverse, reciprocal. So that we will do. Why I am doing it in that manner, we could have easily done differentiating both sides with respect to x. But this is a new methodology, so both the methodologies will be clear. One in the previous questions that we started, one this type of methodology. Whatever you find easy in the question, you can do it in that manner. So let's start. This time we will be writing differentiating with respect to y. Differentiating with respect to y. Now x is there, its differentiation with respect to y is dx by dy. And another thing that this is a quotient rule problem. That, we, that means you can apply quotient rule here. Numerator is there, denominator is there. What is the quotient rule? If u and v are in the form u upon v, so it becomes u dash v, that means u dash v d by dx of sin y u dash into simply sin a plus y minus u into v dash minus u which is sin y into d by dx of sin a plus y upon upon v square easy right now what is there let's see d by dx of sine y. Sine's differentiation is cos y. Y's differentiation also because it is nothing but the application of and implication of chain rule. So y's differentiation with respect to x dy by dx. Here it is dx by dy only. Don't change it, right? Then sine a plus y. Okay, so it is not dy by dx this time. Let's make things clear. Y's differentiation is there and the question is with respect to y not x. So you have to change it, right? So it becomes with respect to y here and here also with respect to y. See it is dx by dy. Okay, so easy now, right? D by dy of sine y, differentiation of sine is cos y. Differentiation of y with respect to y is 1, right? And sine a plus y follows as it is minus sine y as it is. Differentiation of sine a plus y with respect to y, very easy. Sine's differentiation cos a plus y. Then you have the bracket having a plus y. What is the differentiation of a constant 1, constant 0? What is the differentiation of y with respect to y? 1, right? Denominator does not change. Please do not change it. It is sine square a plus y. I hope things are getting clear. I repeat the question, whatever I did in the solution again, I had a question wherein I saw that this kind of manipulation will work out. We did dx by dy, we are going about doing dx by dy again and the second step would be reciprocal of what we did in the first step. Now it is multiplication of all these, so it is sin a plus y cos y minus 
कॉज ए प्लस वाई साइन वाई और साइन वाई कॉज ए प्लस वाई डिनोमिनेटर इज वॉट साइन स्क्वायर ए प्लस वाई नाउ यू सी दैट दिस इज अ फेमिलियर फॉर्मूला साइन ए कॉज बी माइनस कॉज ए साइन बी आई राइट द फॉर्मूला हियर अगेन इट इज साइन ए कॉज बी माइनस कॉज ए साइन बी नाउ यू टेल मी वॉट इज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ दिस येस इट इज साइन ए माइनस बी यू गेस्ट इट राइट साइन ऑफ ए माइनस बी विल बी यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मूला हियर सो लेट्स यूज द फॉर्मूला सो इट बिकम्स साइन ए मीन्स द फर्स्ट टर्म और द फर्स्ट थिंग इन द ब्रैकेट माइनस बी अपॉन साइन स्क्वायर ए प्लस वाई now certain things cancel so basically my dx by dy is what it is sin a upon sin square a plus y plus but please do not leave the answer here because dx by dy was not needed dy by dx was needed so definitely after this step directly you can write dy by dx is equal to what it is equal to the reciprocal so it is equal to sin square a plus y which means the denominator will become the numerator and the numerator becomes the denominator so it is sin square a plus y upon sin a and that is your answer so in the year 1995 in the set c of the board examination the question was not asked as find it was asked as prove dy by dx is equal to this but because i needed to teach you certain things i manipulated the question a bit and i told you find the solution to this question so i hope you understood it and like the video